About three years ago, I built this simple drum machine, primarily as a way of learning Ember at the time. I thought it'd be fun to recreate the drum machine from scratch over a series of screencasts. So this is the drum machine. Uh, I'll just press play for a minute. So uh, these are the controls at the top. You saw a start and stop. Um, we can also adjust the uh, tempo, so the speed of the song, we can slow it down or speed it up. There are a number of inbuilt presets. Uh, so here is Marvin Gaye, for example. So uh, this kick, snare, hi-hat and clap, these are the channels. We can uh, mute channels, so the, only the bottom clap is playing. Um, at the moment we can cycle through different sounds by clicking up or down. Um, we can add new channels by clicking the plus, we can delete them by clicking the X. Um, these here are individual steps, so by default a channel has 16 steps, but you can remove or add new ones. And um, you'll see if we click play that it actually will cycle through all of them before looping back to the start again. Um, by default, each step doesn't play a sound. It has a velocity of zero, meaning it doesn't produce any sound. Um, you can cycle between the velocities by clicking uh, once will bring it to 50% and clicking twice will bring it to 100% and again back to uh, zero. So there's three states, each, each uh, step has three states. So if I mute this and just press play and do every fourth beat, you can hear that playing and you can see that I can strengthen those as well. Um, you might notice this uh, URL up the top. This is actually the data for the current state of the song. So you can take that URL and send it to someone or bookmark it and it will bring it back to the exact state uh, that you were in before. So we're pretty much going to recreate uh, this whole drum machine and all of this, all of these capabilities from scratch. Uh, the source is available uh, here. This, this is available at emberbeats.gavinjoyce.com by the way. And the source is available here. Um, I've actually just pushed a brand new empty Ember 2.7 app but you can get back to the previous version if you want, which happened to be built in Ember 1.5 at the time um, by choosing the branch here, and I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, okay, so I have a, a brand new Ember app here. So as you can see, there's, uh, it's completely empty and we're running Ember 2.7.1, which is currently the latest. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some sounds to the app. I use a library called Howler, um, HowlerJS. This is it here. And the thing I'm most interested in is the fact that it supports sprites. Um, so you can uh, create a howl, I guess they call it. Um, you can give it a number of formats, MP3, WebM, OGG, and then a series of sprites which are uh, which have a start and end uh, point set by milliseconds. Um, so this allows us to create a single file with all of the different sounds that we want, and we can uh, invoke the sounds through Howler. So there isn't an Ember add-on for Howler, but there is a Bower package, so let's install that. Uh, Let's just search for it. Okay, so it's just called Howler. So bear install Howler. So in order to bring that into our app, we'll modify the Ember uh, CLI build.js. And uh, Howler's been brought into bear components here, so we can use app.import to import it directly. So it's barrel components, Heller JS, dist, uh, heller.core.min. OK, 
Okay, so uh, next time we boot, that will be available as a global. Um, in order to avoid JS hint warnings, we're also going to add it uh, to the Ember CLI build. So if I restart the app now, we should see that we have access to window dot how how uh, cool so in the original version of ember beats i used uh, howler in a model with some static methods uh, the model was called audio and you call audio dot play and give it a sound and volume and it would play that sound based on uh, this sprite dot mp3 or og uh, so i'm going to rebuild this in the app is the first thing we do but uh this time i'm going to create a service that will be available in our application so if we have a uh, a controller component that wishes to play a sound we'll grab that service and tell it ask it to play a particular sound um so it's going to look similar to this uh i will create a i'll just create a services folder and create a service called audio service Okay, so uh, like this, it's going to create a, a howl. I guess we'll do it on init. So it's going to be new howl. I wonder has the. I'm actually going to refer to the docs here because this was a couple of years ago. Um, so is that different? It is different. You see. Uh, it used to be called URL, now it's called source. So um, we'll start off with just the MP3 file and then we'll come back to uh, add additional formats should we uh, require it. I think for Firefox, we may need a different format. Um, so we'll use the same file from last time, sprites.mp3. And uh, the nice thing about that is that these uh, sounds will be in the same position uh, sprite sprite okay so that's the same as it was before so uh, I'm just gonna set that then as hell so the other thing we'll need to do is to have a play function which will take a sound so that'll be something like a uh, clap and we will, oops. Grab the howl object and then call howl dot play the sound. Okay. I'm going to create an application controller where we can uh, invoke this service. Okay, we're gonna have an action called uh, play. We'll take a sound. And in this case, we want to inject the service, which is em.inject service. Um, so now to play, we will this type, we'll get the sound service. And we call play with the sound. So uh, we're going to invoke this from the template. We'll call an action. We'll say play a clap. Uh, it will pass it on to the sound service, which hopefully will actually play that sound. So in the application uh, template, uh, if I create a button with an on click, and it's going to be, I think we call it play, and we'll give it a sound, which will be clap. So 
so hopefully this will work. It does not. Um, attempting to inject unknown injection ser sound service. Services, oh, I call it audio service, not sound service. Um, audio service is fine. Okay. Okay, so it's trying to do something. It's trying to load sprites.mp3, but we haven't actually included it yet. So I've downloaded that. Uh, so I have the MP3 here. Um, actually, just before I bring it into the project, I'll just show you what's uh, I'll show you what's in this file. So I, I use a tool called Ableton Live, by the way, but uh, you can use free software such as Audacity for uh, examining MP3s and WAV files, etc. Um, so here's the file here. Uh, you can see that there are individual sounds. It's it's a, basically it is a sprite map. So if I play this, you'll hear all of the different sounds that make up this sprite. These are actually sounds from uh, sample sounds from the original 808 drum machine. So I can bring that sprite into. Um, we want to bring it into public. And so so that will now be available. Um, and if I reload, hopefully this will work. Uh, it's actually meant to be called sprites. I call it sprite. Okay. So let's rename this as sprite. Nice. And we can add a second one. And actually, if I make these on mouse over. Um, so it's a bit tedious having to uh, create buttons for each of these. So it would be nice if the audio service actually exposed the sounds that it has. So uh, we can create a computer property called um, sounds, I guess. And it is going to, I guess, depend on the Howl object. And it will get the Howl. Um, so I might refactor this later, but this will be good enough for uh, now. Um, I guess we could. Um, really what I want to do is get access to these keys and return them as an array. Um, so I'm not sure how how it actually works. So um, why don't I do this? Okay, so I, I'll write what I want in the template. Um, it's going to be each uh, audio service that sounds as sound. And we want to put a button in there, and the sorry, the sound will be instead of hard coded, it will be whatever the sound is, and it will be play sound. Um, but if I run this, it's obviously going to hit the breakpoint because uh, which will it'll hit the breakpoint, which will allow us to actually have a look at what is in this whole object. So we have. Um, Let me just make this a little bigger. So we have the sprite object, l.sprite dot, and we can do object dot keys on it, which will give us our array. Um, this is a little bit hacky. I think we'll come back to the sound service later and refactor it. There's a couple of things I'd like to do. Uh, so if, if you Remember the drum machine actually also has like you can cycle through them here So being able to cycle uh, through the sounds, but also that they have different colors and they might have uh, Better titles than hi-hat underscore closed. So I think what I'll do is come back to the sound service later and actually refactor it into um, uh, uh, 
much nicer object that doesn't that has a set of data that represents all the different channels um, but this will do for now so uh, we're going to return the keys for this so this will now return an array with all the different keys so it'll be clap snare rim etc and our template is now iterating over it and creating a button for each of them so this uh, hopefully will give us a set of uh, buttons that we can just hover over 